my name is Rachel and I am currently a caregiver for um, my ex-husband and that in itself is a very loaded, loaded sentence. Um, Greg had called me and he said, you know, I have nowhere to go. So obviously, you know, he's the father of my child and I said, well, you can come here. He was not the same person. I felt like he was falling into a hole and he was okay with it. He's been on three tours, you know, he's seen things unimaginable. And um, I saw a man that I once loved have no love for himself anymore. It's hard. It's definitely hard being a veteran. It's hard being a spouse of a veteran. I was a new mom of a new baby girl. I had my veteran who I was caring for, who's my ex-husband, and then I also have my husband, who is now a veteran, who is now dealing with his own ailments. I just felt horrible. I just felt like I, I didn't have an outlet because I couldn't tell people, well, this is my story, you know? We got involved with the VA and they were great. Um, we felt like the first sense of like welcoming and non-judgment that we had felt in a very long time. Building better caregivers, I mean, it's just that. I felt like it did build a better caregiver within me. It's sort of like hiding behind a keyboard, you know? So you're able to share your story with a mask on. It set weekly goals and, you know, if you had a troubled emotion that you were dealing with, if you had trouble setting aside time for yourself. You know, I live a very busy life. I have two children and I care for a veteran and then my husband and everything else. I like the fact that I could address it when I had time. You know, you can go in there and you would read different different sections and people would have comments and, you know, just it felt like you were talking to another human being who understood exactly what you were going through, got it, wasn't there to judge you, you know, just offered love and support. You can find strength and weakness, you know, and, and I feel that's exactly what we did. We knew that we weren't alone. I have learned to delegate my stress a lot better and have coping and have meditated breathing. Things are getting better and I have hope for Greg and I have hope for his future. I'm proud of who we are today as a family unit.